Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to integrate our Windows Active Directory with the vCenter server. So for this demo I will be using uh, vCenter server 6.5 update 3 and the domain controller is hosting hosted on Windows Server 2019. Uh, generally we do this so that our domain administrator and domain users can get access to the vCenter server as well and uh, it's a big, it becomes easy to manage the users who are accessing the vCenter server. So let's start with the demo here. Uh, I'll just open the view admin console once and uh, show you the good. Uh, we'll go back to the uh, administration and uh, we'll select system configuration. There, we'll have to first go to the PSC, the psc.ashu.com, and uh, uh, go to the Active Directory section and uh, need to join the PSC first to the Active Directory. So, we'll be using the domain here as ashu.com. And the organizational unit where you want the object to be created in the AD. So for this, I have created an OU. I'll just verify it once. It's with the name vCenter. So I'll give it a name vCenter and uh, give an admin administrator, domain administrator username and password. Once this is done, we can hit OK. And uh, It'll take some time. We will just let's just double check if we have the object created. So the object is there. So now we just need to restart the PSE so that all the services and uh, functions can be refreshed once. So we'll just reboot it. Uh, let's change. Let, let's give it a name. Uh, domain join. That will be easy to understand. Hit OK. So now once uh, I have fast forwarded the video, the PSC has rebooted and came up online. Now we are just logging to the vCenter server. Let's give it some time. And uh, post the reboot. Uh, the next step is we'll just go back to the uh, administration. Let's check the system configuration once if uh, the information is persistent. So we can see that ashu.com is there added as a domain. So the step one is fine. Now we'll go ahead with the step two. All right, for that we'll go in administration. Uh, we can see global permissions and uh, configuration. So we'll first go to the configuration. Under configuration, we need to add an identity source. So we have to add ashu.com as an identity source for the vCenter server now. So it will automatically take that domain name. We just hit to hit, need to hit next and finish. Now the identity source is added. We, the vCenter server will be able to see all the users associated with the Active Directory. Now we need to go to the global permissions and uh, assign uh, specific permissions to a user which can log in to the vCenter server. So we can see this is added. I'll just set it as a default domain. Either way, it's just the only one domain which I have. So we'll go back to the global permissions. So we'll go to the manage and uh, I'll add a user and give it a role, assign it a role for administrator. So these are the roles that are there. I'll use administrator. I'll go to the vSphere.local. I'll drop it down to ashu.com and uh, I think I'm selecting the wrong one. Let me just search for it here. I think I'm doing the wrong. Yeah, I need to add it. All right. Once it is added, hit OK. The role is administrator. And uh, we'll just hit OK. We can see the name is added here now. And uh, let me just check one more thing. We'll propagate this to children. That is checked. That is fine then. Now, once this is done, we'll give it a moment and then just 
log out of out of the vCenter server and then we'll try this username the domain administrator to log into the vCenter server so we'll use the administrator at the rate ashu.com that's my domain admin and uh, password so you can see that it has uh, initiated the login we are able to verify the user it has authenticated and now it's uh, loading the inventory for this user so the login was successful we'll just wait for it to come online it will take some time in order to load the inventory for this user all right it's in there so thank you for watching this video have a